The lawmaker who visited Hoshiru Zoom, Banshika, Kilban, and Dakshi reverts in Hong local government maintained that with the judgment, it is a clear indication that APC is the only party that can take the citizens to the promised land, their justice, equity, and development. Hence, the need for them to re elect President Buhari, Governor Vindo, Yusuf Kapti Buba, and any other contestant under the platform of the ruling party. He said that despite the current economic situation of the nation, he had initiated and empowered youths and women, assisted educational sector, farmers and other people of the two local government with various projects that touch their lives at the grassroots. If given another mandate, he will complete all uncompleted projects and initiate new ones for the betterment of the electorate. As a lawmaker, he will do everything humanly possible to sponsor more bills that will fine tune the fortune of the people. Executive, Muna Boku Bodia, Kuma Muna Rokanku, Muna Rokanku, Kurike Mana Amana, Naga Sugaban Kasa, Harkasa, APC Kawa Muke Magana. The Commissioner for Education, Mr. Julius Kadala, said with the kind of achievement recorded by the APC-led administrations at all levels is a testimony for them to elect them for another four-year term. The Administrator, Kulingi Development Area, Mr. Francis Nathaniel, APC Chairman, Banshika Ward, Usman Buba, and that of Hong, Bako Walia thanked the lawmaker for his foresight and promised him block votes at both primaries and general elections. Others who spoke during the visit include Mr. Samuel Weiner, women leader, Mr. Elian Yeldon of Pella. Mr. Helder Elkana commended the lawmaker and assured him of their maximum support and cooperation. Comfort Stephen, 2-6 News.